Hey YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another haul for you. I hit uh, 14 garage sales today. I spent $27.50. So let me show you what I got. Of course, a globe. Globes always sell good at my antique mall. Uh, this one has a like the vintage metal uh, stand on it. These will sell for $12 to $14. Fancier, they'll go for a little more, but they always sell at my antique booth. Um, I saw this really interesting uh, Fu Manchu, like a tiki kind of mug. It was 75 cents. And on the bottom, it says Orchids of Hawaii, and then it says Japan. So I'm going to do a little research on that. That's one of those things that if even if it's not uh, super collectible, it is a unique item and people will like that. Uh, same sale, I got this uh, kitty vase, um, and that was only $0.75. Cents. Huh, I got this fat little duck. He's like made out of resin. He's good for like a lawn ornament. He was two. People like having stuff like that. You can stick it out in your garden um, or have it inside, I guess. Um, this was, I got it at the same sale as the duck. They had a whole 10 cents on it. It's a real cool little woven uh, basket. So I said, can I have that and this for $2 since that was two? That would make that free. So yeah, I got something for free. It's very cute. Um, stuff like that. You know, people make stuff like that and they're not, not cheap. I don't know, I may keep that. Um, this was a nice find. This is one of those uh, Nintendo uh, cases for 50 cents. I don't think they realize that there is a Super Mario Brother game in there. Uh, the labels kind of tore up. My son told me that those are probably only worth like six, seven bucks. But uh, the case should be worth something and the game. And it's got a stylus and 50 cents. I figured I couldn't go wrong with that. Um, this I'm probably going to sell on eBay. Um, it is a Mickey the Mouse metal wind spinner. This center, it's uh, slotted so that you can like turn it so that when it turns in the wind, it makes a real pretty design. And it's metal, of course. And that was only $2. I got this real cool BBC Planet Earth thousand piece puzzle, never opened. Uh, evidently it was from a store. It says $2.25 and I paid $0.50. Cents. And then on back it says $8.99, so I don't know what that's all about. But $0.50 cents unopened, not a problem. This was so cute. It's one of those little uh, pottery signs, $0.75. Cents. It said, I used to think I was too old to fall in love again, but then I became a grandma. Isn't that sweet? That would make a nice gift. Um, I got this package of 200 papers of origami paper for $3. That stuff is not cheap, because I know my daughter did that for a while, and it's kind of expensive. Um, over this way, I got this really unique looking, uh, I guess it's for flowers or for a, for a plant. 50 cents, it's an alligator planter. Isn't that cool? You know, that's one of those things that if it's a little bit strange, it will sell. So I thought that was adorable. Um, I've had one of these before, this uh, wind chime that is a lighthouse, and did pretty good. I think I had 4 or $5 on it. That was a dollar. This is kind of cool. It's um, a mirror, and it's got... The waves on the bottom, and then it's got the lighthouse, and then I think a couple shells at the top, framed, ready to hang. That was only a dollar. Um, this is a uh, painted slate. It's got a place to hang it on top. That was a dollar. Another welcome slate uh, with, of course, a lighthouse. That was a dollar. This. Um, this stained glass is so pretty. It's of a pumpkin. It was only a dollar. The interesting thing I noticed on this is it looks like it had a jack-o'-lantern face, but then I went like this, and that just comes right off. So guess what? It's a pumpkin. <laughs> so
So I'll just clean that up a little bit and put that in my uh, box for fall. Uh, you know, I always say little signs do well at my uh, antique mall. My house was clean last week. Sorry you missed it. <laughs> so I think that was only a dollar. This was really cute, too. Uh, it says, Homes for Sale. And then it has all these little bird houses. Isn't that cute? I'm just a sucker for stuff like that. This might be a little disturbing. And it says, still the sexy couple. <laughs> They're little bobbleheads. Oh, yeah. So imagine your grandparents in a bikini and a Speedo. Yeah, I don't know if you want to see that or not. And they have their hands on each other's rump. <laughs> that was $2. I've seen these little statues before. Whoa. Try not to break it. It's called coots, as in old coots. Isn't that cute? So somebody will think that's adorable and not think that the man looks like E.T. Not E.T. Yoda. That's who I'm thinking of. Wrong alien. Uh, let's see. What else did I get? This is really funny. I've heard of these, but I've never actually seen them. It is called Cat TV, and it is a video for your cat. And, of course, it has other cats and fish and mice and birds. Isn't that funny? That was a whole quarter. So I thought, what the heck? I'll see what that goes for on um, eBay. Maybe take it out in my antique mall. Who knows? Um, I always do good, real good with table linens. This was a table runner. It's a nice long one. That was only a dollar. This real cute purse is quilted. It is not a Vera Bradley, but it's in great shape. Has a long uh, shoulder strap for you could wear across your body. And that was only 50 cents. 10 inch uh, laptop sleeve protects most 10 inch laptops and it can fit an iPad as well. Brand new, paid a dollar for that. And it's like that neoprene, but it's got a really pretty design on it. And I got this real pretty tray. Now, the neat thing about this tray is I love the design on it, but then I looked on the back and it says that it is made in England. So, don't know how old it is or anything, but I uh, can't quite make out the other uh, writing on there. Because you know I'm blind as a bat without my glasses on. But that's a decent sized tray, and it's really cute. So, I thought that might do well. Um, I bought this. Uh, it's like a wrought iron black metal. Um... I guess uh, just put CDs in there. It was only five dollars. I had one exactly like this that I had in my booth for a while, and then I don't really sell too many uh, any uh, of the DVDs or or CDs anymore. And I think I sold it a couple months ago for twenty five. So bought it for five. This will sell for twenty five. So that will go pretty quick. But I believe that's all I got. Got a couple of really good items, but all of this stuff will sell. Um, stuff I've sold before. It's funny. The longer you do this, the more you get stuff. And you go, oh, I've sold this before. Oh, I've sold that before. <laughs> and it's nice to be able to have um, uh, an antique booth as well as selling on eBay. When you have more than one place to sell your your items, you can look for more of a variety of items. So my son just recently, when I went to the uh, antique uh, booth, came with me, helped me unload my car, and he walked around. He bought a Yahtzee game for $6 and a Sony Walkman, the cassette ones, for 2 He sold both of those items in a week. He sold the Yahtzee for $40, and the $2 cassette Walkman he sold for $15. So he's becoming quite my little picker apprentice. He will be garage sailing with me this summer. So I told him, you got some buys. You're going to end up on camera. So <laughs> I hope he does. He's not crazy about being in front of the camera, but I'll force him. Um, that's all I had for today. Oh, I also got this little bag. Because I was at a garage sale and I had a lot to carry. And it was in the free box. So, yeah. 
Get, you know, yeah, I have so many totes. It's just not even funny. But hey, free is free. So that's all I got. Please leave me a thumbs up. Give me a comment below. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already. And until next time, it's spring, man. Get out there and start picking. Until then, happy picking. Bye.